Who am I listening to? Who am I allowing to have input into my life? Because Paul's telling Timothy, hey, stop the false teachers. They're going to mess people's lives up. They're not helping them live a life of faith. But who are they? Let's look at who, who, uh, the filter from today. Who, who are they that we're letting listen? What are their qualifications is what I'm saying there. And what makes them an authority on what they're telling you? What is their training? See, most of the time we choose to listen to people that we already agree with. So, and if you're doing this on the internet, the algorithms only let you do that because you've gone so deep down those rabbit holes. If you're only listening to people who you agree with, you need to find out, first of all, okay, what are their qualifications? What makes them an expert on this? Why are they teaching this? Then you look at what is their content? Are they consumed with suppositions and conspiracy theories and things like that? Are they teaching scripture and using it properly? Are they creating, creating controversy and just try, interested in debating things? Is their message pure in heart from a clear conscience with genuine faith? Or are they consumed with crucifying everybody else? Then look at what are their goals? What are they trying to accomplish here? Are they trying to honor God and help people live a life of faith? Or are they on about helping themselves and making a name for themselves? What motivates them? Are they trying to create their own brand and make themselves look good? Power, money, and then finally, what's the effect? And here, here, here's one that you can really measure strongly. What is the effect? What are they creating in me? How are they impacting me? How are they influencing me? Are they making me want to fight and debate about everything? Are they wanting me to, you know, just want to punch people in the face that disagree with me literally sometimes? Or... Are they helping me live a life of faith in God? Friends, this is serious business because you have access to so much teaching. I, I, I understand that you don't just have access to teaching on Sunday mornings. And those of you online, you already know this. You've probably been watching something else while you're watching this. There's a lot of good stuff out there. There's a lot of helpful stuff that we can learn from but there's a lot of rubbish too. And Paul told Timothy, hey, watch those YouTubers. Make sure they're teaching the right things and tell your people when they're not because we want people to be built up for the life of faith, to be love-filled followers of Jesus.